Hi everybody, it's Daphne and you're very welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to spend some of your time with me today. I'm sorry I missed a couple of uploads last week, but I had a back spasm, so um, I wasn't feeling in top form, <laughs> but feeling much better now and um, hopefully back to my upload schedule. Today I wanted to talk to you about five of my favourite fall or autumn um, lipstick shades and there's five-ish because I've added in a little extra but um, these are lipsticks that I would turn to very much at this time of year and um, I love to carry them in my bag I know they'll go with so many things and as I say these are shades that I just turn to on a regular basis so if you're interested in seeing what those five-ish <laughs> favorite fall lipsticks are just keep watching so when it comes to autumn, I tend to go for um, a warmer nude. Now I do like a nude lipstick all year round, but I do tend to go for a warmer nude in autumn and, and or fall. Um, and these are some of the shades that I turn to on a regular basis. And I'm gonna start with the one I'm wearing and it's a MAC lipstick and it's in the color Modesty. Now you probably won't be able to read that. Um, it may not focus. But it's MAC Modesty and um, I have it for quite a while. I'll just swatch it for you. So it's a kind of a, it's it's a nude but, or a neutral, but it's it pulls pink and it pulls a little bit of brown as well. And it's just a lovely shade for kind of transitioning out of the brighter summer colours and into the fall and winter colours. And as you can see, it's a lovely, it's a lovely shade. Goes with so many different looks and so many different colours in your clothes. It's a comfortable lipstick to wear because it is a cream sheen so it's not matte, it's not glossy, it's just really buttery on the lips and it's a colour that I really love. Now I would usually pair that with a similar toned lip liner. Now this one believe it or not is actually from um, PS, the PS range in um, Primark and it's just this colour is a really good match for um, modesty and I have already lined my lips with this. Now I don't know if I'll be able to find a link for these, they're notoriously difficult to find links for but I'm sorry but that's any kind of a you know a rosy tone dusky pinky brownie shade would go with it but this one um, as I say is from the PS range and it is called Vintage Rose. So a really good match as you can see for MAC Modesty. So that's the first one. Now the second one is called Hug Me and it's a MAC lipstick as well. So this one is much more of a brown shade so I'll just swatch it so you can see. You can see there it pulls more brown. This has slightly more pink in it but this is definitely more brown. This one is a luster, so it's slightly more, um, it has slightly more of a sheen to it than the cream sheen. And I have been pairing that with the Bobbi Brown lip liner pencil in uh, beige. So I'll just swatch that there for you. Now they're not exact matches, it's pretty much exact, isn't it? But um, sometimes on, on camera the colours can look slightly different, but that's a really good match for that colour. Um, and it is a shade that I would wear quite a lot. So I'm going to remove this one, which is um, Modesty, and I'm, I'll show you um, Hug Me. Now I've removed um, Modesty, and I just used a little of what was left on my foundation brush just to when I'm, take, when I'm trying on lipsticks like this, my lips will get very pink. Um, now, this one, as I say, is called Hug Me, and I'm going to pair that with Bobbi Brown Lip Liner in beige. So I'm going to just use my mirror here so I can see exactly what I'm doing. So that's Bobbi Brown Beige. And here we go with Hug Me. So you can see that that's slightly more of a browny shade than um, Modesty, which pulls more pink. But it's again a nice neutral 
um, nude that will take you through the season and it again will go with so many different looks and if you've been watching me for any length of time you'll know that I really do love a nude lip. It has slightly more of a sheen to it because it is a luster finish lipstick and um, yes that's one I turn to regularly as well at this time of the year. The next one is also a MAC lipstick. MAC features quite a lot in this in this video and this one is also a cream sheen and it's called cream or creme in your coffee. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see that it's very the writing on these is always tiny but this is a darker nude again and um, I'll just swatch it there it, it pulls it pulls brown it's actually br more brown in real life um, but it's a kind of it's just definitely a darker shade it's a more of a definite nude or a definite neutral and I would pair that with an NYX or NYX lip liner in the shade mauve so I'll just swatch that above there so you can see that's a pretty good match and the NYX lip liners are really really um, budget friendly pocket friendly and they're wonderful lip liners so what I'll do is I'll just remove um, hug me and I'll show you um, creme or cream in your coffee so I'm just going to line with um, NYX mauve So that's NYX Mauve and um, this is creme or cream, I would say cream in your coffee. So you can see that that's much more of a definite brown, browny, pinky. It pulls a lot of different colours and that's the beauty of a neutral lipstick because it will go with so many looks and so many outfits that you're wearing as well. This is a cream sheen so it's not as it doesn't have the same shiny finish as a luster lipstick but it's just as comfortable because it's a cream finish it's going to it's not going to dry your lips so that's another favorite for this time of the year the next one is where i've added in the extra lipstick because i couldn't pick one over the other and um, this the first one is um a lipstick by clinique and it's one of their color pop lipsticks it's in the color love pop and it's a much darker shade it's kind of pinky ready as you can see when I say darker it's for me it's a more of a statement color a statement lip and I don't always go for statement lips so I really really love this one um, and I would pair that and again I'm sorry this is um, another PS lip liner and it's in the color red blush it's, it's a good color match for the Clinique Colour Pop in Love Pop. So I'll just remove creme in my coffee, creme in your coffee, and um, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to apply red blush. And then I'm going to pop on Love Pop from Clinique. So it's much more pinky, but it's kind of tending towards a pinky cranberry colour. Um, you could, of course, wear it at any time of the year, but for me, this is more of um, sort of autumn into winter um, lip colour. And it's very comfortable to wear. It's not a matte. It has a kind of a creamy finish. And it's a lovely shade for me it's, even though it's a statement lip it's not too much of a statement lip so i really like that one so this is the if you like the honorary extra and this is a similar color and it's another mac lipstick but it's a luster and it's in the color plumful and i love this so i'm just going to swatch it beside uh clinique color pop and you'll see why i've kind of put them together because they're practically the same um, so they'll go with the same um, lip liner. I mean, if you look at those two, they are practically the same. So I'll just rub, wipe this one off and you can see MAC Plumful. So that's the same lip liner and 
Here comes Mac Plumful. So that's a luster lipstick, so it has slightly more of a sheen, but you can see it's very similar, if not the same as Clinique um, Love Pop. Lovely kind of pinky, heading towards a cranberry colour for the sort of the winter season. And that is one that I regularly pull out as well. So my last one is a Sculpted by Amy lipstick. And what I love about these lipsticks, as I've said so many times before, if you've watched me doing any Get Ready With Me using the Sculpted by Amy products, these are lip duos. So you have your lip liner on one end and you have your lipstick on the other. And I absolutely love this colour. It's called Tan Twin. It's a really gorgeous shade. And again, it works for any season, but I like it kind of at this time of the year when you're going into all those lovely warm earthy tones. So I'm going to, just going to remove um, MAC Plumful and I'll be back in a second. I just realized I forgot to swatch it for you. So I'm going to swatch it just here. Look at my hand. So that's the lipstick, which is a kind of a pinky brown and the liner. I think it's ingenious that um, there it's you know in the one little um product so you can see that's slightly browner and that's slightly more peachy so i'm going to apply the lip liner so a lovely lip liner it's so creamy and so easy to apply it doesn't drag the lips at all is going to and then the lipstick so it definitely is a lighter shade but again it has those lovely it has that lovely warm earthy feel to it and it is one that I would pull out more at this time of the year and um, really really love that and it's so creamy on the lips as well so there you go there's my five with um, an honorary mention <laughs> of my favourite fall and winter lipsticks. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed that. Let me know what your favourite colours are to wear on your lips for this time of the year. Are there any that I need to know about, that I need to try, any new lip liners that you could suggest? I'm always open to trying new makeup. So I hope you have enjoyed this. If you haven't already, maybe you would think of hitting that subscribe button and the little notification bell beside it, which will notify you when I um, upload a video. And don't forget, if you have enjoyed this video, to give me a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And um, I will chat to you very soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye bye.